Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is a series of 7 lectures on membrane potentials in nerve fiber. In this video, I am going to discuss the RMP or resting membrane potential. If we place the two electrodes of cathode ray oscilloscope on the exolemma, 0 millivolts plus 40 millivolts plus 80 millivolts minus 40 millivolts minus 80 millivolts then the zero reading will be observed this is cathode ray oscilloscope it gives zero reading when both the micro electrodes are placed on the membrane but if one of the electrodes is placed inside the cell then the reading comes out to be minus 70 millivolts this reading is termed as RMP or resting membrane potential. In this graph, we can see that this is minus 70, this is resting membrane potential that is minus 70 millivolts. Now, what is resting membrane potential? Resting membrane potential. is an equilibrium condition in which the driving force for ions down their concentration gradient across the membrane is equal and opposite to the driving force for these ions down their electrical gradients so this is the resting membrane potential now the factors which result in RMP are basically first one is unequal distribution of charges second is activity of sodium potassium pump that is sodium potassium ATPS pump and the third one is selective permeability of membrane due to presence of various ion channels so these are the three main factors which contribute to a particular RMP now in this situation when the neuron is resting the condition is known as polarized state This state is also known as resting state. And in this state, if ion distribution is concerned, then sodium in extracellular fluid is more than sodium in intracellular fluid. While potassium in extracellular fluid is less than potassium in intracellular fluid. 
sodium plus potassium in extracellular fluid is more than sodium plus potassium in intracellular fluid. So the cations are more on outer surface or outer side or in the ECF. That's why the membrane is electropositive outside. Some leaky potassium channels are always open there. So the membrane is permeable for potassium due to opening of some leaky potassium channels. And the membrane potential which will be observed in this condition is minus 70 millivolts which is also known as RMP. This RMP is very close to the equilibrium potassium of uh, equilibrium potential of potassium ion that is minus 70 millivolts because at resting phase some leaky potassium channels always remain open. So this is the resting membrane potential of neuron. In next lecture we will discuss the graded potential. Hit the like button and share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.